gotta keep winning, I gotta keep winning, I gotta keep winning, winning, winning. Gotta keep winning. All right, guys, this morning I'm doing 180 grams of egg whites, two whole eggs with a little bit of ketchup, just a little bit. I'm also doing one and a quarter servings of oats, so that's 1.25, pretty much, uh, what, 50 grams. And then I'm doing a little bit of honey right here, just a little bit, not too much. And I also did my cinnamon, my spice, and my sugar-free syrup. And I only did a serving and a half of the syrup. So, that's going to be the first meal of the day. Looks good. Smells even better. YouTube, good morning. Wednesday, day three of peak week simulation. So, I'm up three pounds. I lost all progress that I've been working for, everything. Just lost it all, man. Peak week. That's what happens, man. <laughs> nah, I'm messing with you. So, so basically, I am up three pounds, right? So three pounds is 187. I was 184 yesterday. And yesterday actually was my 375 carb day. And Monday was my 500 carb day. Where on Monday, it was 500 carbs. And then Tuesday morning, I woke up super tight, feeling good, you know, looking good, you know. The vascularity was up and everything was looking right. And then I decided to go again with another high carb day, which was, like I said, 375 grams of carbs on yesterday, Tuesday. And today I woke up fairly watery, you know. Uh, you can tell from the progress pictures. You can also tell from the morning posing that I'm holding on to a lot more water than I was yesterday. So the sodium was fairly the same. I'm not really manipulating the sodium or manipulating the water intake, you know. Those are two main things that a lot of competitors play around with, you know, come contest prep time, peak week time. But, you know, I've been doing a lot of research, you know, following Lane Norton and, and different, you know, men's physique competitors in that aspect. And, a lot of the natural ones don't necessarily manipulate that kind of thing. I mean, you got the water intake. You want the water to be in your muscles. You don't want to not drink your water. I mean, that's how you become full. That's how you look full. Um, and sodium, you want the sodium. You can probably play around with sodium, which is something that I might do as far as the up and down of the sodium. Now, I'm keeping it constant right now. I'm, I'm about you know, 25 to 3,000 on a regular, 3,000 milligrams on a regular. And maybe that could have, maybe that was an effect on why I woke up watery today. Now the food, like I told you earlier, the food stays the same. I don't change the food, I just change the portion sizes. So I take away some oats, I take away rice, I take away things like that. So there's a lot of, there's, there's a lot of, reasons why I woke up how I woke up you know three pounds heavier holding on to more water but hey like I said it's trial and error I mean it is only day three it's Wednesday we do have until Friday to see how we come in because ideally the show is on a Saturday and we want to see how we're looking you know the day before the show and then waking up the morning of so what it seems like might happen I'm just speaking you know uh, speaking fairly soon but that high carb that I had that 500 carbs was that was that was that was a good that was a good jump now had I depleted a little more that might have affected might have a good effect on it I didn't really deplete I had a cheat meal Saturday and then I just went no carb on Sunday so maybe when it's the actual seven days out from the show maybe I will start depleting then and I would deplete Saturday Sunday and Monday, and then on Tuesday, I would throw in that 500 carb and wake up super tight on Wednesday, and then play around like that. So there's a lot of different changes that we can make, uh, we're gonna make, and that's what we're seeing right now. So that's why we're practicing. I definitely recommend you practice the peak week, maybe even do it a little sooner. The only problem with doing it too soon is the fact that 
your body will look different and respond different based off of your leanness. So right now I'm three weeks out. I'm going to be leaner when it's actual one week out, hopefully. I mean, that's the plan. I'm going to be leaner. So my body is actually going to respond a little differently to the carb load. So that's something to keep in mind, too. That's why I waited three weeks out to practice the peak week. So now I did the practice peak week. And then next week, I can kind of calm it down, bring it, bring it in tight, bring it in right, and then have the actual peak week, you know? So I have that week in between to fix anything that I might have destroyed, which you can't really destroy too much. I mean, the work is done. We can do a little bit more, but I mean, I've been prepping for 11 weeks already. This is a 14 week prep. So, I mean, all your work should come in your beginning stages beginning weeks it should you know and so close to the show when you get around four weeks out you should be dialing it in you know so that's what we're doing right here so today we're doing 275 grams of carbs uh, for my meals the same you guys know so i have the banana for my post-workout my oats uh, for breakfast you guys saw the oats and the eggs for lunch i'm cutting back on the carbs so Instead of having rice in both meals, I'm only gonna have rice in one meal, and the rice portion is only 50 grams. Uh, and I'm also gonna throw some almonds in on the meal that doesn't have the brown rice in it. So uh, that's how I'm playing around with that. Uh, I think I'm eating a little bit less rice cakes today. Um, it's all fish today, because I don't have any chicken, so I'm eating. I got my pollock, I think it's what it's called, the pollock fish, and I have some tuna that I'm going to be eating when I get home. So, and I also have some rice portions in there. So, no sweet potato today. Uh, what else is different? So, yeah, it's pretty much no sweet potato, and we're throwing in tuna today. So, that's the difference on you know the meal choices for today. So, everything is staying the same, fairly the same, just the smaller portions, of course. So, we'll see how that goes. 275 carb, about 170 protein, and about uh, 65 to 70 fats today. So the fats went up just a little bit and the cars went down just a little bit. So we'll see how we turn out. Uh, today's a leg day. So I'm planning on going in there and killing it. It's eight o'clock right now. I'm on my way to work. So who's to say how I feel when it's, when it's workout time, man. I'm usually drained throughout the day. Uh, surprisingly that yesterday hurt. I was completely hurt yesterday. Just tired, man, exhausted. And I had a lot of carbs, so not really sure but the energy levels are pretty low these days so we're gonna try to bring it in right tonight today we're gonna try to get our energy up we're gonna try to stay focused well, we're gonna stay focused but we're gonna try to keep our energy high and stay in a positive positive the most positive attitude we can have man so i'm gonna go ahead and get to work i'm gonna catch you guys when it's workout time i'm actually glad that i did do this peak week practice right here because now that I'm pretty much spilled over at day three, I've learned a few things and I've also done a little bit more research. So technically for me, I probably should have started to carb up on Sunday, right? Start carving up on Sunday and then drop it because a lot of the protocols for the front load, they start carving up uh, about six days out from the show. So technically right now we're three days out for the show spilled over and we can make up for it because we still have tomorrow, which is Thursday, and we also have a Friday to get right. And then come Saturday, show day will be on point. So we still got time, but you know, I've been just researching and things like that. But I do have a little secret strategy of how to bounce back, you know? And I'm going to wake up way better than I did today. I might even wake up fairly similar to how I did on Tuesday. So you got to keep watching the video in order to see my little strategy on how to bring it back. But just to, just to let you know, we're learning, we're practicing, and this is actually good. Three weeks out, we're figuring things out. When it's game time, when it's actually seven days out from the show, we are going to be 100% ready. So for this meal, we're looking at two packets of regular chunk light tuna. So you guys know I was originally eating the tuna that was flavored 
which was like the ranch, the bacon and ranch, the barbecue and things like that. But to eliminate some of the sodium and all the other crap that's inside of those, uh, the carbs as well, I just remove that and get some regular tuna, which is what I have here, uh, mixed with 75 grams of brown rice. So real low in carbs, about 17 carbs, I believe, per this plate in about 34 grams of protein. So that's this meal. I am currently en route to drop this red box off before it's too late, you know how that goes. Uh, today's my anniversary, by the way. You know, we, me and my wife celebrated it on Saturday, but today's my actual anniversary. Three years married. So I did get a red box uh, for me and my wife to watch already. Got that earlier. So yeah, man, when you got fat, when you got kids, man, you, you kind of just relax, you know? You don't really do too much on the actual day. I mean, had our anniversary fell on the weekend, it might've been different, but we celebrated on the weekend, enjoyed each other. Now tonight, we're gonna chill out watch a movie and we're gonna just kick back you know so for the final meal we're gonna have one and a quarter servings of oats we're gonna mix that up with the cinnamon the spice and also the salt we have to do that and of course we gotta throw the syrup in there we'll do about one and a half servings of the syrup and on the side we'll have some eggs uh, we'll do a few egg whites. We might even do some whole eggs, get some yolks in there. And of course, we're gonna throw a little bit of ketchup on that. And of course, always the Himalayan pink salt. And then for another side, we're gonna have four chocolate rice cakes. You guys know how I love the rice cakes. And we're gonna only do 24 grams of peanut butter. Originally, we were doing about 32 grams of peanut butter but that's because we had a little bit more fats to play with because we ate less almonds. Today I had a good amount of almonds with a few of my meals. I'm not sure if I showed you guys that, but I did have some almonds with my meals, so I can't get the full 32 grams of peanut butter. I only can do 24, so that's gonna conclude the night of eating, man, and we're off to day four. So in the morning, stay tuned and you will see how my physique will change drastically. And that's all based off of what I'm gonna be doing tonight. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, look at that fine, that fine one. 